finish the Christmas tree for you guys here. Okay. Which is why we put it on the menu tonight. Um, so <coughs> I hope it's Hello. Hello. Didn't realise I was not. What? <laughs> right, so I am here. I'll just move some of the stuff over because it's some warm water there. I thought I would come uh, online to show you me using different products. Um, the first product I will use is the Anno Calming Foaming Wash. I don't know prices straight off hand, but if you if you're interested, let me know. <coughs> and then I will get back to you. So let me just wet my face. Obviously, I don't know as much as a few other people, but you know. So, as you can see, it is foam. It is foam. And, yeah, just obviously avoid eye area. Hi, whoever's on. It's saying I've got two people on. I do have a towel on my lap because I have a habit of spilling water <laughs> and so on and so forth. Um, I do have a, a little thing to wipe it off with. Just going to leave that on my face a little bit just to have it look, soak in a little bit. I did do some little fact sheets actually um, to show, show you guys how, you know, not just how to use it but the uh, the effects of using it really. <laughs> I don't know whether my internet is playing up, but uh, I keep saying somebody's coming on, but I have no comments. I usually have quite oily skin, so. When I started using these products, I was a bit dubious to, you know, to, to use them. Um, but, you know, like, literally, if I show you a picture of me, obviously, uh, my face area, I can actually see that um, my pores, because I have quite big pores and I have lots of greasy bits of hair and on my chin. So, when I came across this product, I was quite happy. I mean, obviously, everybody knows tea tree, you know, it's like um, an antibacterial and uh, it's got antioxidants in it. I did, I basically did a little bit of, um, what's it called now? My brain's gone. You know, I do apologise, it, it does, um, it does go on me now and again, you know, it'll be a bit too much, but as you can see, you just rub it in, tea tree sp smells absolutely amazing, you know, I was reading up on it as well, which I didn't really realise, you know, was um, uh, an effect of tea tree it actually reduces the size of blemishes and um, reduces your pore size which like I've just said to you you know literally I get really big pores I mean I 
obviously you haven't seen a picture of me before um because obviously most people take flattering ones <laughs> um but as you can see like on the the photo that i did when i was using the uh the himalayan charcoal mask um you can clearly see on my nose it was shiny which is obviously grease um not that i don't wash my face i just do i just get really greasy and obviously with the way things are at this moment um wearing masks and stuff like that when you go shopping or anything like that you know it, it just there's loads of heat and you know it just causes your pores to clog up because you know you're restricted aren't you you're restricted um you know it's one of them isn't it really you gotta do it i mean i've got quite a few spots come off as well but you know what i think it's just part of it because you know when i used to do um like facials before I've been reading up and I was like well maybe I the reason why I had so many spots and that come up before doing my facials was it's obviously the wrong product um you know I'm not boasting up you know body shop or anything but I literally I reckon I over cleansed and obviously that's dangerous for your skin so since coming to body shop I've learned that you basically use a cleanser which is that one which is your cleanser I mean obviously I did use this one as well but I do have quite oily skin and uh, yeah I used to put like a mask on and I had about 10 different products that I would use probably not 10 but you know there's a, a decent amount say about five let's just say five and I used to my skin used to be red raw after basically so obviously me being me thought you know I'll, I'll, I'll do it every so often it wouldn't be that bad but um, I obviously caused a lot of damage to my skin now I mean obviously you can't see because of the lighting but you know it's ha actually wrecked my pores and uh, I wouldn't recommend it to anybody really um, it's not good so you know I'd rather you uh, come across me and obviously people learn from their own mistakes but you know I'll, I'll, I'll let you get on with what you want to do if you really if that's what you want to do uh, so so far I've used the yellow foaming wash and I have used the tea tree skin clearing facial wash but now I am going to use the most popular drops of youth, the youth concentrate, if you can read that. This stuff comes in this, obviously, and you've got a pipette. Let me just get a bit more. So, as you can see, it's in there. You just put it in your fingers. <laughs> Obviously, rub it in your fingers a little bit just to warm it off. Some people, after warming it up a little bit, tap it on the skin, which you can do if you want. Obviously, you're supposed to avoid eye area. But then I literally rub it together again and then don't you massage. I 
think I'm alone tonight. I can't see anybody on. Obviously, leave it in soak into your skin. <clears throat> and this is supposed to um, make you look, well, not make you look younger, but fresher faced. Um, yeah. <laughs> doesn't look good does it <laughs> I mean it does look good um, obviously I don't know I haven't actually researched this one too much at the moment um, but I know it says it's supposed to make you look fresh faced you know um, can stop the uh, signs of ageing <clears throat> and so on <clears throat> obviously you you know anybody that has read anything up on um the youth essence there's, 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 there's facial wash there's oil cream there's the youth essence which is for the whole of your face I didn't even tell you what this one was. I just started putting it on my face. Obviously, you don't want to put too much on. But, you know, any excess, you just wipe off. As you can see, my face does not look red at all. Supposed to stop the uh, the eye one, which comes in a little, it's like a pencil, with um, what's it called? With a little roller on the top, and it goes on your eyes. I mean, you can actually see. I am tired. I do look rough <laughs> with lack of sleep. Um, obviously, I've got, I've got two young daughters or youngish daughters. <laughs> And I will show you what this one is, what I was using. If you want more information, just let me know. Uh, that one I just put on was the Vitamin A Moisture Cream. Which looks very uh, appetising really. <laughs> Not appetising, looks very... Uh, Aesthetic, and it says on there as well. It says uh, with raspberry seed oil. Doesn't smell like it. I don't think. Okay, it does smell kind of raspberry-ish. To be honest, I can still smell the tea tree. The tea tree smells amazing. And hi, mom. I did see you come on, but I was uh, just having a little bit of a chat. <clears throat> Let me just uh, put that there. Don't need that water anymore. Um, I do have the vitamin C energizing face mist as well, which I usually put on. I mean, obviously, at the moment, I'm only doing myself um, one facial per day um i do tend to use the the charcoal mask just not every day um they tend to say yeah it does doesn't it you can see look you, if i go straight up to the camera you can't actually see any shine or anything you know I can honestly say it, it has actually done me some good. <laughs> I really do, you know. Um, most people that have seen me before, you know, like you can you can clearly see. <laughs> I mean, obviously, I still look wrong. <laughs> I've got these bags, but they'll go eventually. If I end up getting one of the rollers with these drops of youth in it, oh, drops of youth looks amazing. 
first time I ever tried it, I said to my mum, I was like, right, mum, I'm going to put some of this on and you tell me if I look any different. And I did before and after <laughs> pictures and she was like, wow, actually, you do actually look fresher faced as if you've just gone and, you know, look completely. But yeah, I think it's a pretty amazing thing. So I'm just going to put this on. I try not to put too much on, but sometimes it just happens. So. Mm, it smells nice as well. Uh, vitamin C energising face mask. And obviously you just leave that to uh, do its magic. Right. <clears throat> Let me just put this on the back of here and I will get rid of my water and then I will get over and show you my notes. Let's put that there. Two minutes and I shall be back. While they get cracking with their starter, Lauren and Jack have caught something in the hall. I guess you did. Well, I have a nice memory when you told the fire for the day. So obviously I was doing quite a lot of research the other day. So I know that I've had somebody interested in the the seaweed um, products. So I'll tell you a little bit about that. <clears throat> Hi Emily. <laughs> I've literally just finished my skincare routine. Can you tell? <laughs> so, first of all, I was on about the seaweed. There is a range of different products in the seaweed. Seaweed is, you know, one of the ones that. <laughs> It's quite popular you know I've seen a lot about it and I've seen a lot of other consultants talking about it um, so you know I thought I'd come tell you what I've learned <laughs> if that's what you want to hear um, hi everybody that's uh, just come up I now have five people viewing me <laughs> Yay! <laughs> so uh, the seaweed um, there's a gel wash which helps remove excess oils and obviously leaves your skin feeling clean and refreshed. Uh, the toner uh, obviously removes. Yeah, I haven't actually told people that yet. <laughs> I was going to get to that bit. Um, it obviously, the toner removes any excess traces of cleanser obviously I'm not saying that you don't clean it off your face but there we go and it's there to prep for moisture so obviously you do your cleanser your toner and then you do your, your moisture cream like that one that one. I mean that was the vitamin E. Um, obviously there's different types of cleansers. Um, obviously I've got on here there's a, a pore cleansing exfoliator which obviously exfoliates your skin more. Yeah um, I was watching some some uh, some of the training videos and they say that tea tree and seaweed is really good obviously for more for, for teens but people that have like say oily skin like mine you know you'd use um maybe the the tea tree uh the tea tree facial wash and then you'd use the 
the seaweed toner <clears throat> or maybe the seaweed cream I mean, what is your experience, Emily, with the seaweed range? <clears throat> I know the uh, the comments are probably lagging a little bit. You can also use the sheet masks as well, which are you can either use them on their own because obviously um they do basically everything you know cleansing toning you know moisture i mean it says on here what that i've written down it says um your skin is left balanced soothed and softened but obviously seaweed is you know a moist it's, it's, it's moisturizing to anybody uh, <clears throat> I, feel a bit, I feel a bit silly now reading all this out back to myself um yeah but yeah i i've i have actually learned quite a lot um the, the past week or so i mean you know, when I used to do facials before, I used it used to be, you know, just cleansing quite a lot with different products, you know, to try and clear my skin or, you know, my pores out because they just, they just didn't work. You know, like, even the next day, I'd, I'd look at my skin and think, I did actually have, did myself a facial, why does my skin look so nasty? You know, like if I showed you a, cl a really, really close up, I mean you can't tell um, on on the, on a light because of the lighting. But if I stood right in the in the light in the daytime and took a photo, you could see I've I've got freckles. You know, I've got freckles. I've got different marks and all sorts from where my skin was damaged. Um, hopefully my skin kind of i mean i know that bit looks a bit red there but you know it might be a nervous thing but you can clearly see i haven't rubbed it you know harshly or anything you know i've just got on with it <clears throat> um yeah so seaweed any of the seaweed products would remove excess oil um, moisturises it, leaves it less uh, shiny or oily, um, it exfoliates and just balances your, your skin. Um, I don't know if you know like <laughs> pH balances and all that, um, but yeah that's kind of <laughs> a good one. <laughs> Um, I did do a lot of research and I'm definitely, definitely intrigued of uh, the CBD as well. Um, obviously, uh, training videos, I saw um, two, two ladies, I think maybe three ladies doing the mask, the CBD cleansing mask. Uh, just just amazing it, it, it blew my mind just watching it and i was like okay um basically they put it on you put it on your skin and it's a gel hi chloe it's a gel and uh you leave it on obviously for like five minutes i think it is and then when you wash it off, this is the really, really fun part. Um, if you just put a little bit of water on your face, you can see, just rub it in, and it turns into a milky substance. And I was like, when I watched it, I was like, wow. 
expecting what is this product so when I you know when I saw it I was just like that's amazing I mean um, I think CBD is for is it extra dry skin I think um, yeah so the CBD mask, uh, yeah, just, I mean, it, it removes impur impurities and dirt. Um, and then there's a facial oil on as well, which is obviously helps to nourish the skin. And then there's a moisturiser, which literally, you know, soothes, calms and locks in the moisture, basically. I mean, I'm not going to read all of it tonight. <laughs> I don't want to bore you guys, but yeah, I literally got that's that page, <laughs> that page, and then that's that's all the tea tree stuff that I've done. Uh, it's quite a lot of tea tree, and then uh, another one which uh, I've seen on uh, training is um. A carrot wash which people would be like carrot 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 wash you know might be a bit put off by that um, but when I actually saw somebody you know putting it on their skin and feeling confident about it you know it just it kind of just you know Actually, I could try this one. I mean, it does say it's it's got a a, a lathering texture, and it removes daily grime and impurities, which is similar to the CBD. Uh, reveals a natural glow, unclogs your pores, and reduces excess oils, fatigue, and it energizes your skin. So it does quite a lot, really. Um, I mean, obviously, I might, I might put some little fact sheets up for the carrot one <laughs> as well. Um, but yeah, I, I kind of liked that, and I, you know, I want to tell you about this stuff because, you know, I'm one of these people. I take in knowledge, and it just whizzes, whizzes around my head. It'll stay in my head until. And then I'll just kind of just <laughs> you know, throw it out there to people. Um, I'm quite quite um, out there sometimes. Uh, have you have you actually used it then, Chloe? Because I've only ever seen um, I think it was one video on it, and not a lot of people actually talk about it. I did see something else. Um, I'm not. I can't think what it is now because my brain just it just shuts off now and again. Um, yeah. So there's another one that says it's really really good. Uh, I need to like trying to figure out what it is now. <laughs> but yeah, you can actually see there's no shine to my skin whatsoever, and I do have lights above me as well. I mean, it's definitely something, you know, worth a try. Oh, <laughs> okay. I've just seen a message come up saying uh, tea tree is tea for £10. Let me have a look at that message. Uh, I couldn't see what it is. Um, but yeah, obviously, I in the future I will get the carrot one and I will show you, um, obviously the effects and uh, so on, and you can make your own mind up about it. But as you can tell, people have have heard of it. It's just not well known at this moment. So obviously. 
Let's put it back out there. <laughs> Only one person on. <laughs> nice. Yay. So, um, I do have another product which might cater to my mom, which has just gone offline, <laughs> which is the hemp hand protector. See, I've never ever used this product yet. So this is a first for me. <laughs> I don't usually use hand cream. Yeah. I love that. I love that feeling in the morning. I I went through a stage. Um, obviously before body shop. Um, I used to um wipe my face over with a baby wipe just a quick wipe and then i would literally put really cold water on my face carrot wash is fantastic and i love the vitamin e face sheet that's the sheet mask isn't it yeah yeah i mean to be honest if you the sheet masks or the masks realistically you know obviously because you leave them on longer i'm not saying the other products aren't effective but using them all together or a combination of different one different ones that work for your skin will make your skin look absolutely amazing you know like I know some some people would actually say tea tree doesn't suit them but like you know I've heard that if you've got dry skin and you use tea tree it will dry your skin out and it will won't it won't work for you that's why people generally say if you've got dry skin try to use the tea tree and the seaweed because the seaweed and the tea tree are good combinations. <clears throat> uh, makes my skin feel extremely refreshed, wakes me up properly in the morning. But yeah, no, honestly, I, I used to put the face wipe and then co stream cold water. And because I, when I wake up, I get really dry eyes. Like really, really dry eyes. You know, it it actually stopped my eyes from stinging. If this makes sense, any sense to you guys? Probably doesn't, but you know. Uh, I mean, the face sheets. I haven't actually tried any of those. I've just used the the charcoal one, um, which anybody who's ever tried it will actually say it feels amazing on your skin during and after. So obviously that was. It's definitely one to use. Um, but yes. Uh, obviously, <clears throat> I'm going to use this hemp, this hemp hand cream. Um, I've never used hand cream in my life. That's probably a bit too much. It might be a bit less. I don't know. So that is the texture of the hemp hemp cream if you can see i don't know if you can see and i'm going to rub it all over in between you know oh that smells quite nice actually mm. it's an unusual smell unusual smell mm. yeah, right, a bit more I mean, I used to suffer really, really bad with um, dermatitis on my hands, um, which is like, you know, itchy blisters on these bits of your fingers. And, you know, in between your fingers and everything, it's absolutely horrendous. <laughs> it's absolutely, I wouldn't wish it on anybody. Um, but, yeah. 
Let's leave that to soak in a little bit. It does smell quite earthy, actually, doesn't it? It's just, um, it's definitely, definitely unusual, but my, my skin feels quite, uh, should I say refresh? <laughs> you know, it's a bit, this is me actually reviewing it for the first time in front of you guys, which, yeah, leave it to soak in. It is definitely, definitely making my skin feel softer. Oh no. <laughs> Even, I don't know if you can see any difference. You can, oh, it's quite shiny on my fingers and on my nails. Um, so, is there anything anybody would like to ask me about any of the products? I mean, I know I just skimmed over them quite quickly. But I don't want to keep like going on and boring people. So. For me, the taste, the texture, too sweet, too sloppy, milk, no, didn't do it for me. Just saying, I've got come down in the background. <laughs> There's nobody here. I am actually thinking about buying some banana shampoo. Um, I got given a banana hair mask and obviously my hair was blonde a few a few weeks ago. Had to cut off most of my hair because my hair was falling out due to uh, health issues as well. Um, yeah, I kind of made bleached it and it kind of was just, just made my hair terrible, didn't recover. So as you can tell, I've cut most of my hair off and it's growing back. So I was like, right, let's just dye my hair a natural colour and just leave it be for a bit but i'll probably get bored in a couple of weeks um but there's nobody on at the moment so i will leave you all be and thank you for everybody that watched um i mean actually what i might do i know there's nobody on but i will go through the products i've used tonight again just so if you're interested give me a message so the first one I used the aloe foaming wash then I used the tea tree clearing facial wash then I used the drops of youth so the youth concentrate yeah. Can you read that writing? No. Hopefully you can. Then I used the vitamin E moisture cream. And then I used the energizing face mask. Face mist even. I'm just gonna say mask then. So I uh, will see you all later. With the duck bathing, it's onto the cranberry juice. Bye.